Okay, you guys ready for this? Okay. Okay, here we go. yourself the extreme team you think you're brave only one percent of people have the talent and the courage to make this world a better place Stresses me how easily you four could be part of that one percent. I'd be prepared to suspend sentence if you put the same enthusiasm and ingenuity that you put into surfing the trains into something positive. But the next time you take a train without a ticket, your next journey will be straight to jail. ourselves 15 years to achieve these goals. And then what? Well, if we can't make the world a better place, we move over for people who can. What are you saying? We make a pact. We don't reach our goals, we come back in 15 years. Surf the pipeline till the end. Make it better or make room. Make, make it better, better or make, make room. room.
Susan's got a date. Jokes haven't been that bad, have they? Come on, Ralphie. Come on with the couch, boy. Come on, Ralphie. Come on, Johnny. What's wrong? What's wrong? Look, uh, let's be adults about it. Yes, let's. I'd like you to leave. Aren't I good enough for you? No, no, it's just... Look, it's just the wrong time for me, okay? Just go. Oh, shit. Look, it's not like I want you to call me tomorrow morning or anything. Hi, Doug. Well, I'm going to help invent something to refloat beach waves. Have you losing your rent deposit? Have to stay in the carpet, can we? Not like you did in the last place, Susan. <laughs> now this guy's definitely not in the one percent. <laughs> the world won't miss him. You know, Patty's really looking forward to seeing you, Susan. No need to pull a muscle. It's me. <laughs> Rolfie, come on. Come here. Come here. Hey, Rolfie. That's my little buddy, huh? Been playing with your friends at the dog park, huh? Caddy and Maggie. You've been doing that stuff. Huh? It's a good boy. It's a good boy. I think Rolfie should go to the Davis household. Don't you? Would you like that? I bet you'd love that. Now, Brittany's gonna take a little while to settle in in Los Angeles. But, well, you know, she's such a smart kid. She'll be okay. Huh? Little Donald and his wife should be fine. Who are you? I'm the second dead man in this room. Great in this last year at Britney's school concert. Here, put this on. 
Oh, no, hold it, hold it. I can't have you rolling my favorite shirt. Wipe the blood. Now, come on, get dressed. I want you looking your best for this. For what? Oh, you know, make it better or make room. No, we didn't. So we do. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, 700 whales beached themselves worldwide last year, Susan. They all died. Where's your invention? Hmm? So you meet Kenny in 10 days' time, we surf the pipeline. Kenny? It's what we promised, remember? Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. It's okay. It's okay, Susan. Susan, it's all right. It's okay. It's me. It's me. It's Walker. Like, if you don't want to come, then uh, I could take it now. We won't be going anywhere with you. Go with mommy, Ruthie. So, let me get this straight. Fifteen years ago, you were train surfing. Yes, and my best friend died. Patricia Roberts. Will the sister. That's right. Yeah. And you're supposed to take this train trip ten days from now? Look, Wilga killed a man. Okay. And unless I meet him on top of this train, he says he will kill my daughter. Wilga. This guy lives in your ceiling and knows everything you've done for the last X years. Mm. Well, since you've moved here from the country, Miss Vixen, I see you had quite a few addresses. This Wilga lived in all your ceilings, did he? Wilga's full name was Wilgerson Peter Roberts. Yes. Born Bakersfield, California, June 29, 1965. That's right. His father was an American oil company executive. Mm-hmm. Family moved to Saudi Arabia, Borneo, then to Australia. Yes. Well, this Wilgerson Peter Roberts died in a fire ten years ago. Haven't you people been listening to me? Stabbed an inmate in jail declared criminally insane, one of ten to die in a fire. The body was positively identified by dental records and a tattoo on his left calf of a... Gee, what would you call that, Jean? Maybe a cuckoo? <laughs> Wilga's alive. You got a real good look at this guy tonight, right? Broadhurst. I see. And we'll be right there. Why is this taking so long? They'll be out soon. The prints on the knife look like they match the set we lifted from the hairdryer, deodorant, and tampon box. Right. Anyone up there, Hugh? <laughs> Found these in the glove box of his car. <laughs> Photos of the daughter. Whoa. I'd say when Mama tweaked to what the new boyfriend was up to, she decided to give him one hell of a last hurrah. <laughs> yeah. 
She's creative, I'll give her that. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid the child is gonna have to go with Mrs. D. Well, she'll be fine with me. Mrs. Vixen, believe me, I am sympathetic to your situation. What do, what do you mean, my situation? <laughs> Mrs. Dean, if you could take care of Brittany until the father can be contacted. What, 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 what's Donald got to do with this? What do you mean, my situation? We found the photographs. The photographs? Mm. What photographs? Get the kid. Look, it's fine. She can stay with me. It's okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Wilga knows where Helene lives. There is no Wilga. Well, then, who do you think killed the man in my bedroom? Let the kid go, Mrs. Vixen. No, Mum. What's happening? Where are you taking her? Holy shit. What are you doing? Put the gun on the ground. Put the gun on the ground. Get in the car, Brittany. Susan! There's no safety on it. Mrs. Vixen. If Will goes alive, you're safer with us. Vincent! Oh, Drop the gate! Please don't move! Put it down and just step no, away! Take it easy, take it easy. Just relax. Step away, relax. 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 I'll have a 
hundred cash, thanks. I don't have a hundred cash. Thanks. Are you, uh, okay there, lady? I'll just take the hundred. Do come again. Thank you. This man's over my head. Not exactly the salon, but it'll have to do. Are you gonna cut my hair? I'm sorry, sweetie. They're gonna be looking for a mother and daughter, not a mother and son. Take your hair out, quickly. Why can't we just dye it? It's still growing back from the last time you cut it. I want to go home. Well, we can't go home. Why not? Something happened. Long time ago. Sometimes people make bad choices, you know, bad decisions. And then they have to live with them. You can cry. We're gonna be okay, darling. He's a bad angel, isn't he, Mom? Oh. Then what is he? For the 15th time, Susan doesn't have anyone else she can go to. Everyone has someone. She's an only child. She was raised by her grandparents, both of whom are long dead. Brittany is all she has. Oh, she must have someone she would turn to. <laughs> Why does a woman always have to turn to someone? Look, Susan has issues with trusting people. She's been let down all her life by people who should have protected her. That's why I joke with her about being a hairdresser. That way she can have something sharp in hand at all times. Well, that's not very funny now, is it?
Um, North Coast. De Silva, S I L V A. Kenneth De Silva. Any at all? I told you, no dogs. My wife can smell dogs three rooms away. 45 bucks, please. you accessory to murder after the fact. It won't be her. Hello, Helen speaking. Susan, hang up the phone. Hang up. Mrs. Vixen. No, we are not interested in some new carpet cleaning concept. can I do for you? Something tells me you're not in the 1%. What 1%? Hey, you know, you think humans are like uh, animals, plants, fish, hmm? Or are we here for a higher purpose? What do you think? Do we have an obligation, hmm? To make our walk on the planet something special? What do you say? Oh, now what about the onus? Is the onus on us, huh? To make the world a better place. I'll be in a small way. Do you want a room? <laughs> Would you call throwing a small defenseless animal around making the world a better place? I'll take room eight. <laughs> This 
is my fault, Wolfie. Yes, uh, 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 could I speak to Kenny, please? Last week I prayed to the angels that they'd give Mummy a better life. Oh, I come. Um, okay, Kathy. Uh, um, Sorry, come Hello. Look what they sent us. What are you doing? Oh, we were just, um... Here. We can't sell them. Hey. Thanks. Appreciate it. On second thoughts... Hey, go ahead. Go and buy yourself something decent inside, huh? Thank you. It's me. Hey, nice car. What did you say to those guys? It really worked. How did you find us? Susan, you know I would have thought you'd be looking forward to seeing Patricia. I know she's looking forward to seeing you. But you know, if you don't want to come, that's okay. Brittany here will be just as well. We'll go. Just let us go right now, please. I promise I won't go to the police. That'll be a really bad idea, Susan. Because explaining away one murder will be difficult to know. Not to. Even tougher. That man at the hotel shouldn't have treated off like that, should he? Not very nice. And what are you doing leaving your handbag around? My God, that's not a good example to set, Brittany. You leave her out of this. Would you like some pineapple, darling? Hmm? They're really nice to stuff here. And I was thinking... the Brittany's memory of her mom, her last memory, really shouldn't be one of scratching around in trash cans and sleeping in cars. So, I got a proposition for you, okay? Now, under the conditions of the pact, we have nine days before we have to catch the train. So, what I was thinking was that, uh, us three, we could take a little vacation. Hmm? What do you say? Just the three of us, like one big happy family. Susan? Do not involve him in this, Susan. Anything I can help you with, ma'am? No, we're fine. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, sure. <gasps> Didn't anyone tell you, darling? Angels got eyes in the back of their heads. What happened? 
been on the train is what counts, Susan. You had 15 years. You blew it. I didn't blow it. I'm making the world a better place, the best way there is, by being a good parent. With all due respect, Susan, I, I don't see how you can call yourself a good parent. Seven addresses in ten years, you haven't kept a job for longer than two. Your marriage lasts for barely three. Should I go on? Hmm? And how many years of your life have you wasted stalking me? Stalking? You're a beautiful woman, Susan. A stalker wouldn't have been able to resist you. I was just waiting for you to honor your part of the pact. You hungry, Brittany? Huh? You wanna get some food? Mom, what do you say, huh? Let's go get some food. Can we, Ma? Please, Ma? Can we? much protein as you can get your hands on. All you ate was rabbit food. A couple of cabbage leaves and you were happy, yeah. Hmm. Oh. You think he's recognized you, Susan? Hmm? Think he'll believe you. Well, you know he won't. That's right. Because I'm already dead. How's Kenny, Wilga? Kenny? My God. Well, he could come to SeaWorld with us. Hey, Brittany, you want to get that camera for us? Look, they got him here. That's great. Maybe Brittany can take a photograph of the three of us. Three old buddies. Wow. I remember the last time I saw you with a camera in your hand. Patricia died because... You took her hard hat, Susan. If anyone's to blame, it's you. That I was the one who went to jail for her. I'm sorry. That's okay, Susan. Because in a couple of days, you and me are going to be astride the 420 Express. Leaving at 12.17 a.m. Midnight train. Everything else in this country's all gone to shit, but, but the 420 still runs on time. Now, come on, eat up. We got a long way to go.
What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm sorry, I saw a police car. Panicked. What's the matter, sweetie? I wear my pants, Mom. Did I say we could stop? Well, she has to take off her pants. Eleven-year-olds do not wet their pants, Susan. In the company of fucking psychos, they do. Good parents do not swear in front of their children, either. You got a minute. My daughter could have a little privacy. Is that too much to ask? It doesn't interest me, Susan. Turn around. get many visitors out this way. My younger brother says this place isn't the end of the earth. But you can't see it from here. Thank you. Is that your wife? She's dead. I'm sorry. Cancer. Lord, may we find sustenance in this simple meal. And in your bountiful love. Amen. Amen. Thanks. Carol, if you're not pressed for time, you're welcome to stay for a few days. I'm sure the North Coast will still be there in a week or so. It's very kind. We've actually got business to attend to. 
I noticed you didn't have any bags in your car. I've still got a lot of my, uh, nice clothes in there. You're welcome to have them if you like. Thank you. Do you think he'll find us here, Mom? No way. Darling, we're in the middle of nowhere. If he's a spirit, he'll find a way. Well, let's hope he's not a spirit then. Hmm? Get used to this. How long can you stay? We really do have to get to the coast. Look, I've lived right here all my life, and I know I'm not up to speed on a lot of things, but I know that no one comes this far out of their way without a change of clothes unless they're in some kind of fix. If you want to talk about it, that's up to you. But I can offer you bed and board and gas and 85 bucks a week in return for a bit of cooking and cleaning and a bit of tractor work. Tractor work. Well, you look like you know your way around a farm. I haven't driven a tractor in years. I thought I did. Did you make out? Well, did you? Maybe. You had sex with the devil? Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine, Roy. Anything I can do? No, we're fine. Thanks. Night. Night, Roy. God bless. God bless. B E S I L V A, De Silva. What, any other states? Yes, try every state. No, look, I, I'm. Where are you, Kenny?
be at Roy's real soon. Absolutely, Clem. Uh, this is for you. Can you dress him by Friday? There's your friend that ran inside. Haven't gone and got yourself one of those mail order brides now, have you? Not quite, Clem. She looked pretty. See you Friday. Can I meet her? Friday. Roy? Who is she? You, uh... You remember my brother Paul, don't you? Who doesn't? Best footballer we had around here. Yeah, well, his girlfriend's sister, Carol. Stayed for a few days. Mm. Carol, come meet the local law. Made these this morning. Help yourself. Ah, uh, no thanks. How is Paul these days? Oh, he's fine. It was nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, got over being dropped by the Broncos. Um, yeah. Sort of. You wouldn't happen to have a young daughter now, would you? Young son, Clint. Make a farmer out of the boy yet? That's if, uh... Him and Carol get to stay long enough. Uh-huh. Where is he now? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, got a scoop. Highway boys want me to help them with some roadblocks. I'll uh, see you Friday, Roy. Uh, you make sure that uh, you don't work it too hard now. <laughs> For me. I'll do what I can.
What's this? Roy's wife wore it when she had cancer. He said I could use it for dress-ups. He did. I don't believe you, sweetie. Roy protect us. That's not his job. That's mine. Darling, everything will be okay. I promise. Sure. Roy? Yeah? I just, um... I need to talk to you. About the police and why are you so jumpy? Good. I was hoping you'd tell me when you were ready. Hey, but hey, look, you know, if you don't want it, that's fine. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't need to know. You know. All I know is what I see and... Well, you know, what I see is a fine mother and... Lovely woman. <laughs> no, hear me out. Do you think you could marry a guy like me, Karen? No, I don't do this. Oh, let me finish. Before today, before, you know, I've only ever been with one other woman in my life. Ever. So I guess I've got quite a lot to learn in the bed department. But, oh, hell, you know. I took up Thai cooking when I was 31, and well, I've seen to handle that okay. So I guess anything's possible. Well, please don't take this the wrong way, but um, you know the world's moved on a bit. You don't have to marry a woman just because you sleep with her. Was it that bad? I just don't think I know anymore how to separate what it is I need from what it is I want. Well, did this thought ever occur to you that I might want to look after you and Brittany? Why don't you trust me enough to tell me what you're so afraid of? I can't. I just can't. Roy! You know, I think the saddest thing is in this day and age? It's not all the sex and violence on TV. It's not all the crime. It's not all the broken marriages. It's the number of women who truly believe in their heart of hearts that there's not a man on this earth that they can trust. You're too good for me, Roy. So when are you leaving? First thing in the morning. More rain's coming.
Hello? Who's there? Hold on a minute. Um, sick of them crows. See any you don't like. Thanks. I'll be in the wall shed if you need me. Hold on tight, pretty. Said you can come out now.
on tight, pretty. I'm about to make the world a much better place. You need to get an ambulance out to Roy's really quick. He's hurt. You're Susan Vixen, aren't you? He's just a pathetic guy who keeps finding us because he put a tracking device on Rolf. I'll get rid of it. No, wait. We might still need this.
Mom, you try the fern. Let me try something. What? Hello? Yes, um, schools, please. Hello. Hello. We've been on the road for a while, and can I check my email? Do you know how to use this? Yeah. What do you teach here, Ken? How to clean toilets? Hmm? Yeah, I know. I, uh, supposed to be dead. You know, died in the fire and all. Hey. Our old buddy Susan Tuttle, has she been in touch? About our reunion? Ken! Ken! Come near me. Oh, come on, can't lighten up, huh? I'm just here to ask you to long for a couple of waves, Ken. That's all. Like, like the old days. No train surf anymore. Come on, buddy. You and me. We're gonna surf the pipeline. Come on. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Kenny? It's Susan. Susan Tuttle. We're well, all gonna become a teacher to help uncontrollable kids. Just like me! Well, I'm gonna become a teacher to help uncontrollable kids. Just like me! Well, I'm gonna become a teacher to help uncontrollable kids. Where's Kenny? He's gone.
You know that pathetic bastard? He didn't even finish high school. scared of you anymore. Is that right? You know, the Wilger I knew, he was wild. He was right out there. But he took care of us. He was not a killer. I didn't kill Kenny, Susan. What happened to you? Prison happened to me, Susan! Prison! Where are you? I stayed alive because I had a commitment. I had a commitment to my sister. To honor her life before I ended mine. We honor Patricia by the way we live. Not the way we die. Well, what about the pact, huh? Your pact, Wilga. Is that right? <laughs> Change your plans, Suzanne. Hmm. I'm taking Brittany. No! Innocence, purity, conviction, these qualities you no longer have, Susan. <laughs> He's not going to wait. than your mom. <laughs> that took me a long while to plan, that one. Oh, yeah. I had to wait for a guy. You know, my height, my size. I had to get all buddy-buddy with him, man. <sighs> Convince him to get a tattoo just like mine. And I lit the fire. Then I got out of there. Why didn't his tattoo burn? Well, that's probably got something to do with the fact that I put ice all over his leg. But you know, I didn't make a little mistake, darling. You know what I did? I forgot to pack my back. Look at that. Check that out, huh? 
All the nerve endings in my back are all dead. So the little trick didn't work. Shouldn't be too long now. What? What? What have you done to make the world a better place? <laughs> they don't usually let convicted criminals become judges, Brittany. Patty wouldn't have cared if you changed goals. Any way you make the world a better place is okay. Stop here, lady. Station's under construction.
when you tell. All kids are. They're all born to make the world a better place. Come here, Tom. I should have taken care of you, Patricia. I forgave you years ago, Wilbur. Come to me, sir. It's okay. came back into the bar with the tourniquet, he, he kept muttering something about 1%. What was all that about? Why don't I tell you later? Right. Let's go, girls.